New at 10 tonight, a youth football team is devastated after their equipment and their gear was stolen. The Baytown Broncos say the team's trailer was taken and now their season is in jeopardy. KPRC 2's Brandon Walker live tonight in Baytown with a story you will see only on two tonight. Brandon. And Daniela here from the Baytown Fairgrounds, where on Saturday morning someone from the team came and they noticed that the lock here on the front gate had been cut and the trailer, which is usually back there, nowhere in sight. At the Baytown Fairgrounds, Cut it. sounds of practice on the turf told part of Monday's game plan. Yet it's what you don't see, what coaches don't have, that's had the Baytown Broncos running interference. Thousands of dollars. That's Courtney Correa, president of the Baytown Broncos Youth Sports Organization, talking about what was in the trailer surveillance video shows being hauled away early Saturday morning. Wanna get ready! Our tackle dummies, some extra helmets, chin straps, mouthpieces, our blow up run out tunnel that um, you know that took us a while to be able to get for the kids because blue blue seven years of supplies the nonprofit organization raised for children we have over 200 participants this year we go all the way from flag which is five-year-olds and mini cheer which is five to eight-year-olds all the way up to fifth and sixth graders Surveillance video from a neighbor shows a truck pulling up to the fairgrounds on the 7900 block of North Main in Baytown Saturday morning. That same camera shows a flash of light in the night, the trailer gone on game day. We volunteer our time. We don't get paid to be here. We're literally just here because we love giving back to the kids. The hope? Pages from their playbook of kindness will overcome being sacked over the weekend. Honestly, I'm hopeful that somebody will have a kind heart and realize that what they stole was not adult equipment. This is equipment for the youth. Yeah, equipment for the youth and again to reinforce how many youth we're talking about some 200 children participating in this program. The Baytown Police Department is investigating this matter. If you know anything, if you recognize any materials out there, you are being asked to give them a call. Meantime, there's a GoFundMe page. Also, the organization raising money on its website. Click to Houston.com has all you need to know about that. We're live for you tonight in Baytown. I'm Brandon Walker, KPRC 2 News.